is a video summary of our case entitled Tocotsubo cardiomyopathy in a patient with Lynch syndrome. It is a case of a 55-year-old woman with three days history of abdominal pain and vomiting. Seven days earlier, she had a subtotal gastrectomy for poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma. The day after her admission, the patient was transferred to the cardiology ward for the management of chest pain associated with raised high sensitivity troponin I concentration. Her past medical history was very intriguing. At the age of 48, she was diagnosed with sebaceous adenoma on her back and due to her family history of bowel cancer, she was referred to the clinical geneticist for genetic testing. Her paternal uncle had bowel and stomach cancer and her cousin had colon and breast cancer. Genetic testing was positive for MLH1 gene mutation, a causative mutation in one of the DNA mismatch repair genes resulting an accumulation of DNA errors in cells with which contributes to tumor neogenesis. Annual screening colonoscopy was recommended and her first colonoscopy revealed moderately differentiated sigmoid adenocarcinoma. Right hemicolectomy and prophylactic bilateral ophorectomy were recommended, followed by adjuvant chemotherapy. Two years later, at the age of 50, due to lymphatic involvement, she underwent laparoscopic proctocolectomy and and ileostomy. On examination, patient was unwell with upper abdominal pain, hypotensive, with maintained oxygen saturation and low grade temperature. After intravenous fluid replacement, the patient's vital signs stabilized. Laboratory investigations showed raised inflammatory markers and high sensitivity troponin I concentration, with the rest of the laboratory findings being normal. An electrocardiogram showed a sinus rhythm with biophysic P wave in lead V1 uh, and isolatric T waves in the limb blades. Transthoracic echography of the apical views showed apical ballooning as indicated by the yellow arrows with basal hypercontractility and a small thrombus in the dyskinetic apical segment indicated by the white arrows. The patient's condition stabilized with guidelines directed medical therapy for type 2 myocardial injury and left ventricle cystic dysfunction and she reported no further chest pain. Two weeks later, follow-up transthoracic acram showed full recovery of the left ventricle apical dyskinesis and left ventricle ejection fraction from 45% to 55% with almost full resolution of the left ventricle thrombus. Based on the patient's presenting symptoms, high sensitive TNI and transient left ventricle apical ballooning, the diagnosis of Takotsubo cardiomyopathy was established. Takotsubo cardiomyopathy is a clinical syndrome that uh, typically presents as chest pain, raised cardiac biomarkers and ECG changes, mimicking acute coronary syndrome with classical apical ballooning of the left ventricle resembling the shape of the octopus trap. It is often referred to as broken heart syndrome. It is in, its incidence is higher in postmenopausal women and potential risk factors, as in our case, that may have contributed to the development of Takotsubo cardiomyopathy. The coexistence of Takotsubo cardiomyopathy in someone with Lynch syndrome, as far as we are aware, was not previously been re uh, reported. Compared with Lynch syndrome, the genetic mechanism of Takotsubo cardiomyopathy is still poorly understood. No evidence of a genetic overlap between Takotsubo cardiomyopathy and Lynch syndrome is apparent. Comments of the genetics of Takotsubo cardiomyopathy and Lynch syndrome can be found in our last slide. Thank you for listening.